Greetings, everyone. Sorry about the no signal in the corner. I don't have a camera hooked up right now. Um, I wanted to go over briefly with you <clears throat> this job ad that I put on Facebook and that specifically this response, which I've edited, that I'd like to show you. I am a one-man business. Well, I, I, I'm one man that owns two businesses, and I also obviously do this YouTube channel, BitChute channel, etc., so I'm a busy guy, and I need help with the computer business because I have so much that is just coming in, and I have so much on my plate that I really need someone who can bump the workflow along and so on. So I posted a pretty simple ad that makes it very clear I'm a one-man business trying to add a little help. <clears throat> but here's where things get a little bit annoying. See, I've received three applications so far, and I just posted this two days ago. This, I've gotten three. The first one was great. The second one was amateurish, but it seemed like it might be a youthful thing. This job application is the only one that I pretty much immediately marked no. And I want to go over why. <clears throat> um, I've redacted all the personal information. Computer repair technician. Name redacted, location redacted, because we don't care about their phone number. Um, their work experience and education I redacted. I'm trying to keep this private. But I will say they had work experience and several education, at least two different education things listed. Um, obviously, they, they know what they're doing, supposedly. You know, let's go over this application. And I'm going to give you the business owner's perspective on this application. How familiar are you with using the Windows command prompt, command line wizard, which I gave several options ranging from none to command line wizard, which is like the fourth and the highest. So this guy's like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Have you ever worked as a computer repair technician for pay? If so, for how long? If not, what computer troubleshooting and repair experience do you have? If someone's going to help me, I would like to have an idea of how much they know already. So I kind of know where we're starting from together. So this guy just writes seasoned pro. No details on the experience, just seasoned pro. Which doesn't really tell me anything. It's just like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Didn't say for how long. Didn't say what experience they have. Just seasoned pro. And already off to a bad start. Because the, the whole purpose of this question is to get a baseline for what I would be dealing with if I bring this person in here to work beside me, basically being half of the work being done, this is this is going to be their response. This is I have to judge this person's behavior, likely behavior when they're working beside me on other people's computers that have other people's stuff on them and that he could easily end up making a mistake destroying all their stuff. I have to gauge how he's going to behave. This is how he's going to behave. It, I ask a detailed question. Have you worked as a computer repair technician for pay? How long have you worked as a computer repair technician for pay? If you didn't, tell me about your experience. And all he has to say is seasoned pro. That is not going to fly. That is, if, the, if that's the way that this person approaches things in a professional environment, they are not professional. They are not a good technician. They are not a good worker in general. This kind of thing, this kind of response is a great way to just get tossed in the trash can, which is exactly what I did with this. Straight to the no. I mean, this alone, this answer to this question alone is enough for me to throw it away, but it gets worse. I know that you want a job to make money. This is kind of a Joshua Fluke reference here because everybody wants a job to make money and it's so stupid when people ask the question, oh, what, why do you want this job? Well, I want this job because I want to pay my bills. So I'm going ahead and saying, why, why do you want to do this outside of the need to pay your bills? I want to get an idea of why they clicked on this ad. If they're really just in it for the money, they can tell me. If they have interest beyond that, which would be nice, it would be nice to know what they're thinking. It's easy for me and fun. Already, it, it's 
grammatically not great, um, but just it's easy and fun. Uh, okay, that's it. Doesn't tell me very much. I don't need much money at all. Well, if you're a fucking seasoned pro, then why don't you need much money at all? That really annoys the crap out of me. And that's why this doesn't pass a smell test either. I don't need much money at all. You just put that you're a seasoned pro, command line wizard. You don't need much money at all. What are you retired, dude? Now, I don't know how old this person is. I do know that they're older than me based on their education. I don't know exactly what their age is. But the point is, this person, I have to assume, is either independently wealthy and doesn't give a shit, which how they got that way with that kind of grammar and this kind of response, I'm not sure. Um... I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Season pro, don't need much money. That doesn't sound right. Why are you applying to a job application that says 15 to $20 an hour saying you don't need much money at all, but you're a seasoned pro? Your post in the description made me want to reach out. <sighs> Can you hear me deflating? Can you hear me deflating on this end of the microphone? Because... That's what I just did. I, I, I just, I, this, this, this just makes me, th this is like no hope for the future type crap. Your post and the description made me want to reach out. Like, oh, you mean I posted a job ad and you want a job? So you saw a job ad and you, and you, you replied to the job ad? Oh, cool. Okay. That means nothing. I'm just trying to find out why you're interested. It's easy for me and fun is not an acceptable answer. I don't need much money at all is not something a seasoned pro is going to say. And this statement is nothing. This is an it is what it is, which I hate. What is your availability to work? And it's a drop down. None of these. Please explain elsewhere in the wing. Can you start question? Because if you can't, because this question here asks, can you work the early shift? Because I'm looking for part time right now. Can you work nine to one? Can you work one to five? Can you work either? You know, will you need staggered shifts, or is it something else? Like, can you only work a couple days a week? So none of these. Please explain elsewhere. This this is supposed to be for someone who has a situation like that. And it says, please explain and when can you start. When can you start? Please be specific. Let's talk. No, we're not going to fucking talk, dude. No. We are not going to talk. You weren't specific. You, you said none of these. You said, please be specific. Let's talk. This is not an acceptable answer. You have, you're going through the Scantron and circling C as the answer to every question when all of the questions are A or B, true or false answers. What's the best way to contact you? Phone. Are you interested in future full-time work? Because whoever I bring on, if they do a good job, I'm going to be able to build the business more, get more volume, and I'm going to want to move them up to working full-time. And eventually move into a larger space, you know, all that. So this question exists solely to gauge whether or not the person is just looking for a part-time thing now and I'll need to consider finding someone else to do the full-time side of things when the business grows or what. And yes, and I prefer full-time over part-time. And that's a drop-down, so that's an option that they picked. So in summary... This person wants full-time work. This is actually supposed to be for someone who um, really wants full-time employment but is kind of taking part-time as a compromise, which I can understand. I mean, that's great because business is pretty good for me. Um, but they prefer full-time. They didn't answer this question. Uh, they didn't answer this question... Uh, they didn't really answer this question. They didn't actually show any personal anything. It's like a robot, almost. I feel like a high school kid may have filled this out. Seasoned pro, just none of these answers are acceptable. The only things that are acceptable are the things where I gave them a drop-down and not a free-form response. If this, if this is the kind of stuff that you put through on a job application, you're never getting a fucking call back. I honestly feel insulted having received this. 
this is like this comes off as the cockiest prick in the world to me. And you know, I I have my own issues. I'm not a perfect person. I I am definitely not the kind of person that has much room to tell other people how to socially interact. And even I think this person is coming off as not a particularly professional or capable individual. And not at all a good candidate for a computer repair technician part-time job with potential long-term future work. And in fact, I hinted in the application that I'm looking for someone who can do this long term, who will be with me for the long haul, assuming that things work out with this part-time deal. I laid everything out at the beginning, and this, I mean, this is, this is terrible. This is a bad job application. Don't, don't do this, okay? Don't, just don't do this. Don't do, if you're going to fill out a job application, at least put something. Like, I get, I get that corporate is just terrible, and I get that people have no faith in job applications anymore, but you can't do this. You can't just say seasoned pro when someone says, have you ever done this? How long have you done it? What kind of experience do you have doing it? You can't just say, oh, I know what I'm doing. That's just, you can write a, you can write a sentence, man. You can write one sentence. Oh my God, I just realized if I had the camera hooked up, this would be a lot more fun for you. I'm sorry. Next time I'll do that, but this is ridiculous. I, I gotta go. This, I need to do something other than look at this ridiculous job application. Don't do this. This is a great way to not get a job. Thank you. Have a good day, and thanks for watching. You're all wonderful. Party hard.